Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Michaels $4 grab bag haul. I'm so excited, I grabbed two of them. There were quite a few of them, but then some of them were kind of busted open and some of the contents were spilled out and then there was one that was just full of plates and I didn't want plates. <laughs> so we don't, we don't do fancy plates in this house because yeah. So um, I did grab some grab bags. They were tied pretty tight. I haven't opened them yet. I don't know what's in them. Um, so here's bag number one, and I did try to untie it just so that I could make it easier for this video, but I brought out the scissors, and this was the heavier one, and I can already see that something's poking out, so I'm going to go with the lighter one first, because it has, it seems like it has less items, and I'm going to go ahead and open it with the scissors, because that knot is pretty good. And this is double bag so that people aren't trying to sneak too much of a peek. Alright, so the first item in this grab bag is um, class of 2018 little muffin um, baking cups or cupcake baking cups. Um, these were $2.99 originally. Honestly, I don't care that it says class of 2018 in it because it's the foil ones. So, I mean, if we're planning on making cupcakes, does it really matter? If it's just for the house, I really don't care. So, I think that's actually pretty cool. I can also put, like, little stickers in the bottom if I need to. They're little black and white polka dots with a little bit of, um, I think that's gold in there. So, yeah. So, I mean, I can always put, like, a sticker or something or just color it completely black in the bottom. Um, maybe for Halloween, do that. It would be pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, the next thing that I got is High Five. Um, what does it say? Oh, my gosh. They're cards. Sorry. And I don't know what it says. It says, High Five, you're the top dog. <laughs> so I sell on Poshmark, um, and I sell on eBay and Mercari. So I feel like these would be great, like, kind of thank you cards. They'd be, like, really weird. But these are uh, $7. So that right there already paid for the bag. And then just these blue and orange ones and how many are in here there's 12 pieces so uh the next thing is are you kidding me right meow <laughs> i think these are supposed to be like little animal type things i think that's really cute um this again is another seven dollar one more 12 pieces so it says are you kidding me right meow um, I don't know what I'm going to use those for, but I think that's cute. Some more 2018, um, baking cups. Again, I can always just sharp, not sharpie this, but, you know, kind of make it black at the bottom or whatever, you know, kind of Halloween treat. Um, ooh, this is really neat. What is this? So this is $5. This is a salt and pepper set. Um, and I guess you're supposed to... These are supposed to put the salt and pepper in these little ceramic cups. This one says salt, this one says pepper, or the little bowls, and it comes with spoons. And you just spoon it out. Now, I'm probably not going to use this as a salt and pepper set. I think this would be really cool for, um, like, when you put olive oil, like, do the little dipping for the bread or something, or, like, just put sauce in here, and then that way I can drizzle it over stuff. So I think this is a really cool addition. And this was originally $5.00. So not bad. Um, let's see. These are our note cards. Um, my name doesn't have an R at the beginning or at the end anywhere. Um, so I have to figure out what to do with these. But these are still really, really nice. These were $7. And they were 16 pieces. So if I have somebody, if I have a friend, for sure. Well, they don't live locally. So... <laughs> But, yeah, these are just our note cards. I think it's really neat. Really neat. And also, these, like, would be perfect stocking stuffers. Um, another note card set, H. These are $7 as well, 16 pieces. Um, I don't know if I know anybody with an H. I need to make more friends <laughs> so I can give them more of these things. I'm sure I can think of something. Um... I'm trying to think if I have, like, any nieces, any cousins. I have a big family. So, we'll think of something. But, honestly, I'm sure I can come up with something. But that's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, And then there's another salt and pepper set for $5. 
And honestly, I don't mind having two of these because like I said, you can use these for more than just salt and pepper. I think that's a great idea though to put the salt and pepper in there, but you can use these for all sorts of different spices. Um, if you're having like a taco bar or, you know, something where you can put things in the little compartments, I think it's great. I have a family of five. There's four of them. The little one doesn't need to touch anything ceramic whatsoever. So I definitely don't mind that. <laughs> this mug has the letter B on it. Um, my One of my best friend's husband's first name starts with a B, but I don't know if he'd want all this pretty little floral <laughs> going on in here. But this was originally $7. So honestly, still not a bad deal. Really nice. There's nothing wrong with this mug. They just They just needed to move it. And again, it's a grab bag. It's just a chance that you take. So that was the first bag. Um, I got a few things that I'm probably not going to have any use for personally, but they'll be really great uh, gifts. I know absolutely for certain that I will be using the cooking stuff. Of course, I'll use the cooking stuff. So yeah, I'm going to keep those for myself. And then the other things I'll try to figure out like stocking stuffers. Uh, maybe figure out the first names of my kids' teachers or even their last names. Um, yeah, and then go from there. So the big one. So definitely got my money's worth though. Ooh, wow, the first thing I see in this big one, holy cow. Mind you, this was a $4 grab bag, this huge one. Holy cow, holy cow, <laughs> like I thought I was gonna drop it. I've got this big old spring, um, I don't even know how to say this, print up. It's just, you hang this. Wow, this was originally $34, and we know that they always have sales, so it was probably half that at one point. But this is really cool. It's just a really pretty fake flower little arrangement. I love this. This definitely already paid the $4 for it because I could try to make something like this from the Dollar Tree. Now, some of the flowers are missing on one side, and that's totally fine. You know, this is clearance stuff that they absolutely needed to get rid of. I'm more than happy to take this off your hands, Michael. I always try to look at the positive side of a lot of things, so you won't really see me, like, knocking half this stuff. Not gonna lie. So, if you come here for somebody to be negative, you're in the wrong place. Um, ooh, this one's cool. This says cheers, and it's a wine tag, and it's $3. Oh, this is, oh man, this would be great. So it'd be great for like a housewarming gift or a birthday gift, you know, because we're adults, we like to give each other wine. <laughs> it's the classy thing to do. Just kidding. But this is really neat. I know this was more for New Year's, but this is a really cool uh, thing for gifts. I'm definitely going to keep this. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody opened this. See, and this is another chance you take is that somebody's going to open the stuff and kind of um, mess with it. So this is the letter N and it's a notepad tray and it was originally $12 but as you can see I think somebody like kind of opened it, ripped it open and started messing with all the notepads. Some people's kids, right? So actually my best friend's daughter, her first name starts with an N so I'm going to give this to her so that she can have a little notepad said, set notepad set. Yeah, I'm gonna throw these two away because they're kind of like, whatever. But these originally had 180 sheets. They don't anymore. I don't even know how many sheets there are in there. But I think it's still really neat to have. So, I'm gonna give that to her. And let's see what else is going on in here. This is missing a straw, again. This was originally $7 with the straw. This is a tumbler set. Um, this is the letter F. I, no Fs here, but I can always get one of those little decals that goes over this and put it over this. So I am not like too upset about this at all whatsoever. Um, it does have like some imperfections just from being like banged around and stuff like that. And again, I'm, I'm not one of those people that's going to complain about it. So I'm just going to go, next time I go back to Michael's or anytime I go somewhere where they have like little decals, I'll just get one 
and I'll just put it over this because this is actually a really nice tumbler. I like the little thing. I don't mind that it's missing a straw. They sell straws. They're like a dime a dozen. Not that big of a deal, honestly. Really not stuff to get upset over. Um, and then the letter F. I think one of my kids' teachers has the letter F. I'm pretty sure. Like either in the first name. Um, not the last name, but definitely in the first name. Um, again, these will pair well with these. So, I'm not, actually, you know what? I could always use these for my Poshmark customers whose let, last names start with an F or, you know, first name start with an F or whatever. Whatever comes up on the Poshmark um, thing, this is 16 pieces, so it might take a while for these to be gone. However, I really don't mind um, waiting to use those. Okay, letter E, mug. Um, I actually did see this poking through the bag. So my my best friend's son, his name starts with an E. So I'm gonna give this to her for him. And it's like, it's a very like, you know, uh, it's, it's not masculine and it's not feminine either. It's just a very, you know, kind of, a, what is it, like gender fluid type of mug. So it really doesn't matter who uses this. So I think it's really perfect. Um, this was originally $5. It's a black and white monogram mug. Um, it holds 15 fluid ounces in there. So, you know, these are really nice. Really, really nice. Um, we got three more things. I don't want to drop anything. Ooh, cool. Peony Rose. Oh, wow. So this is a... <laughs> I like my singing. This is a bubble bath. It said it right on the thing and I couldn't see it. This is a bubble bath. My daughter will love this. I don't take baths. Um, but this is really, really cool. My daughter would absolutely love this. It's Peony Rose. Um, I can't smell. Ooh, that smells good. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Somebody already opened it, too. See, they have to, like, get rid of this stuff. And, again, I'll gladly take this off your hands. Um, ooh. And a Peony Rose hand and body lotion. Yeah, this was originally $7. Oh, this one was originally $7 as well. So that paid for, you know, that and the plant and the tumbler that I'm going to fix up paid for it. Uh, let's see. This is 12.2 fluid ounces. So I've got myself another, um, what is it called? <laughs> Lotion. Oh, I just said the word. And this one's actually sealed. So that's good. Um. So actually, it wasn't that sealed. <laughs> Somebody opened that too. Rude. All right, guys, come on. Learn some manners, people. But oh well, it's fine. Whatever. Oh yeah, that feels soft. And it smells so good. I know we're getting out of like, you know, the florally type of scents and stuff, but whatever. This is really, really good. And the last thing, no, not the last thing. There's another thing in here. What is this? This is a measuring tape. Oh my goodness. This is a measuring tape and it's $3. How cool. Again, it's a monogram, but I can always put something over this. I'm not, I'm not even worried about that. But again, I sell on Poshmark and eBay and Mercari. So I'm constantly needing to measure items. I think that's really cool. I don't even mind that it's monogrammed. Again, you got to get creative. You got to get crafty. You've got to think of like, you've got to look at the bigger picture when it comes to certain things. Like, can I do something with this? I mean, you're going to Michael's for goodness sake. Like, <laughs> you should probably already be invested in becoming a crafty person if you're going to Michael's. Um, so I don't mind. And then the last thing, the last thing, this I'm keeping. My first name starts with an S. So... I'm really excited about this one. Again, this was five dollars. Um, Fifteen fluid ounces. I like the little monogram mug. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yay! So cheers. I'm excited. So the things that I'm going to keep, you know, vastly outweigh the things that I'm not going to keep. Um, let's see. I think that if you are looking for kind of stocking stuffer type of things. This is definitely the, the time to go to get the $4 grab bags. If you're the kind of person that gets easily disappointed in stuff like this, I highly do not recommend this. If you're the kind of person that 
doesn't want to mess with things that people have already opened like this then yeah I definitely don't recommend it but if you're the kind of person that'll get crafty and be like oh I can easily put something over these monograms you know that is like all about me and stuff like this is a tumbler you can definitely put something over this um, I'm sure something could take this off. I don't know. I'd have to figure that out. And with the monogram measuring tape, like, I can always put something over this as well. I'm not too worried about it. Um, if you have friends who, you know, like certain type of things or whatever, then definitely. I definitely recommend this. So, yeah. There's a whole bunch of things that I'm going to keep. There's some things that I'm going to give to my best friend. So, yeah. I think it worked out in the end. Um, I only paid, what, $8.00? So, and I got a plant. <laughs> I got a plant. I'm super, I'm actually really looking forward to hanging this up in the dining room, or not the dining room, sorry, the kitchen. I have like a little breakfast nook area. So I really like flowers. I hang them any chance I get. I get fake ones from the Dollar Tree all the time, and this actually saves me time from trying to make my own. So there's that, right? Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it seemed like it was just really random, but again, Honestly, if, you, if you're the kind of person that likes to take chances, I definitely recommend doing it. So I hope you guys liked it. And thanks for watching if you watch my Poshmark videos and stuff like that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys later.